to Miss Rose's Tutoring in Reading. This is level one, part two. I hope everyone's doing well. It's a little dark in here today because I think we're going to be experiencing some rain and things. I hope everyone's doing well. And um, let's begin. Okay, so our vowels are A, E, I, O, and U. A, E, I, A, A, okay? And our first line of words, we're gonna go over, ready? F A T. Fat. Fat. T H, remember those two don't get separated. They make one sound again together. T H A T. Fat. That. T A C K. T A C K. Tack. S A T. J-A-M, J-A-M, J-A-M. All right, so now we're going to have, we have fat, that, tack, sat, and jam. And if you know someone that's learning English or if your parent, um, their first language is in English, you can have them watch this with you and hopefully this will help. Okay, all right, because every language has different sounds for the letters. Um, I've been studying Spanish for a while, and um, it's, it's, you know, it's a bit different. Immersion is the best way to learn. That would be wonderful. But anyway, okay, let's get back on. <laughs> Focus, Miss Rose. Okay, let's get back to our list. We are going to alphabetize this list. Okay, so we go, for, when we look at the first letter of each word, when we're going to put it in alphabetical order. And, okay, so we don't have any that are with an A or B, or C, or D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P. Miss Rose, you skipped F a while ago. Very good, I'm glad you're paying attention. A, B, C, D, E, F. So our first letter is fat, okay? G H I J K. Oh, J is next. Very good. K L M N O P Q R S. That will be next. And then T. Hmm, we have two words with T. We have that and tack. So we think we go to the next letter. If they're both T, what is the next letter? This one's H and this one's A. So what comes first in the alphabet, A or H? That's right, A. So tack will be next and then that. So if we put these in alphabetical order, it would go fat, then jam, then sat, then tack, and then that, okay? All right. Let's go to our next group of words. We have the first word, these, this group of words is in the vowel group of E, F, okay? And then we have then, vet, and when, okay? T-H-E-N, then, then, V-E-T, v-et, vet. W-H, which stays together, whoop, whoop, W-H-E-N, whoop, N, when. Okay, so we're going to put these in alphabetical order. Miss Rose, yes, they're already in alphabetical order. How do you know? Well, because T comes before V and V comes before W, so they're already in order. That is correct. Good job. All right, so we just go ahead and number these right in a row. One, two, three, excellent, very good. All right, now our next row of letters is in the vowel group I. All right, so we have D-I-D, D-I-D, did, Z-I-P, 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 Zip. Then we have 
have W I G W I G W I G. Then we have K I T K I T K I T. Then we have T H I S. We keep the T H together. Ready? Is this? Then we have S H I P. Keep the S H together. Sh ip ship. Then we have F I T. It fit. Okay, now we're going to put these in alphabetical order. So we don't have any letter words that begin with an A. So we go to the next one. B, no. C, no. D, very good. Right here, did, D I D. So that would be first. Do you think all these are in alphabetical order? No, Miss Rose, because these are the last that letter of the alphabet. Very good, that's right. So, D is first, A, B, C, D, E, F, oop, there's an F, fit. Okay, all right, G, H, I, J, K, kit would be next. L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S. That is next. T would be next. U, V, W is next. And then Z. Very good. So in alphabetical order, we have did, fit, kit, ship, this, wig, and zip. All right, very good. All right, now our next group of words um, is with the O vowel. Okay, O is O, O. Okay, ready? Ox, fox, hot, hot, sh, ah, shop. So we have F, O, X, ox. Remember that X is at K and S together, X, fox. Then we have Hot, H O T, hot, hot. Then we have sh, ah, shop. Okay, so let's put these in alphabetical order. Guess what, Miss Rose? What? That's right, they're already in alphabetical order. Very good. So we can just number them right in the order that they are. Because F comes before H. H comes before S. So there's another one that's already in alphabetical order. Fox, hot, and shop. Okay, our last, last grouping is the U vowel. Okay, up, all right? And I'm, I'm aware that A, E, I, O, and U have more than one sound. But right now we're going over the basic sound, the short sound. Vowel sound is what we're going over. A, A, E, A, I, I, O, A, and U, A. And those are the short vowel sounds that these vowels make. All right. G, U, M, G, um, gum. M, U, G, M, UG, mug. J, U, G, J, UG, jug. Q, U, which makes that qu sound. Qu it, I C K, ick, quick. All right, now we're going to put these in alphabetical order. All right, so these do need to be put in alphabetical order. They are mixed up just a little bit. All right, so there's no, not, there's none of these start with A or B, C, D, E, F, G. Miss Rose, is that a G or is that a G? Well, G's curve towards your left hand. Q's curve towards your right hand. So, G, gum, is first. Now, what comes next after alphabet? H, I, J. J is next. So, jug is next. Okay? So then after J, K, L, M, A, M is next. And 
then we have Q is last. All right, so we have gum, jug, mug, and quick. All right, now in the very first tutoring um, tips that I have on Miss Rose's story time, I go over proper letter formation so both hemispheres of your brain are connecting. And if you are more of a hands-on learner, learner, like right now we're doing audio and visual, if you are hands-on, I recommend you to get some clay or some um, dough, like play dough or any other kind of um, fun dough or any of those other doughs where you can make it. There's recipes that you can make your own um, dough to manipulate with your hands. And you take like a placemat and you form the letters the same proper way that you're supposed to write them. You form them out of the clay or the dough. And this will help you if you learn better by doing to get it ingrained in your brain on how to form the letters properly. Okay? Now we're going to go over and if you want to know the proper formation of letters, I encourage you to um, look through Miss Rose's story time to the one that's labeled tutoring tips, letter formation, sounds, and etc. Um, and that will show you the correct way and you can play it and pause it while you make each letter with your dough. All right? Okay, or clay. Okay, now we're going to go over our word problem today and we're going to put our little detective caps on and we are going to try to see what words give us clues of what equation this math problem that's in a word form is, okay? Michaela went to the zoo. To enter the zoo, she needed $20 to purchase a ticket. Her parents gave her $35 after she paid to enter, how much money does Michaela have left? Hmm, so what do we do here? Well, Michaela went to the zoo. To enter the zoo, zoo she needed $20. So we know 20 is a part of the equation, right? To purchase a ticket. Her parents gave her $35, so we know 35 is a part of the equation. After, okay, so after she paid to enter, how much money does Michaela have left? So she started with $35, okay? And then her parent, then the ticket cost, that's right, $20. And they're asking how much does she have left? So how much, we know that they want us to figure it out. So we need one equals, right? Money does Michaela have left, have left. How much does she have left? So what do you think that is? Is that addition, subtraction, multiplication, or division? That's right, it is subtraction. So, instead of making tally marks or counting on our fingers, which is fine as we build our confidence in math, but we don't want to continue to do that because when you go to stores and things to purchase things and make sure they give you the right change back, you are not going to be able to, you know, do that. Um, so it's better to try to get to the point of mental math, okay? So we know if we count by tens, 30 is how much more than 20? That's right, it's 10 more, right? And this five right here, that is five extra, correct? So we can say, okay, 20, 30 is 10 more than 20, so I know I have a 10 involved, 
and this five is in the ones place, so that's left. That's five left over. So ten plus five is fifteen. So she has fifteen dollars left over, because subtraction is the opposite of addition. So it's very important to memorize your addition facts and have them down. Then move on to subtraction because subtraction is the opposite of, that's right, addition. And um, so then all we need to do, if we have our addition memorized, we can figure out our subtraction because it's the opposite of addition. All right, so that is our word problem and our clue finding for the day. I hope y'all are doing really well. It's rainy now. It was cloudy when we first began, but now it's raining hard. Hi, Snickerdoodle. I don't know if all of you like animals or not. I know some of the children I tutor do not. Snicker, you wanna come say hello? Um, this is Snickerdoodle. She's my son's cat. I have five sons, and most of them are grown now. And this is Snickerdoodle. And then we have a dog named Angus that you may see from time to time. And some of my, some of my other story times when I'm reading, um, Angus is there. So, okie dokie. Well, I live in the country, so sometimes it takes a while for um, things to load onto YouTube. So I'm hoping to get this loaded up in enough time today to be able to read um, the rest of, let's see, what is it gonna read? The rest of Bronze Bow. And I, after the end of each chapter, I'm gonna ask some questions for comprehension. So when we're thinking, when we're reading, especially if it's a book that our teacher has signed us, let's remember who, what, when, where, why, and how. And you can even have like a little note sheet by you and while you're reading and you come across, oh, this story's about, and that's the who, and so on, you can jot it down while you're reading so that way it can stay fresh in your memory because some people learn visually, auditory, and you know, tactile, it's hands-on. And so we want to um, incorporate these things on how we read and how we learn is what I meant. So I hope everyone's doing well. You can um, comment, uh, like, share, subscribe, um, give me your thoughts and ideas, and I hope all y'all are doing well. All right, thank you, God bless you.